Our Crystal Palace pre-match show comes to you from our studio overlooking the pitch here at Villa Park, the location for our double header of matches this week. Villa are unbeaten here since the 2nd of November and will look to get 2015 off to a winning start. The Eagles may be in a period of transition at the minute, but they took a hard four point away from Loftus Road on Sunday and they will be eager to build upon that. This won't be an easy game, will it Froggy? No, it won't be. And, and it's sod's law, isn't it? We, we get to Villa Park and they've got a brand new manager. Just at a time where they were really struggling, they've fallen into the bottom three, lacking confidence, lacking form, uh, on the back of heavy defeats as well. And they get a, a new impetus. We always seem to get teams with a new manager, don't we? But our form at Villa Park, they said, we've been unbeaten here since the 2nd of November. Um, we've had, it's, some of it's been difficult because we've had 10 men, on, you know, particularly in the last game where, it, 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 you know, you lose one of your better players in Fabian Delph and it obviously affects the, the, the team and the system a wee bit. But I think we should be going into this game full of confidence. If you look at the, the possession stats in the last couple of games, for me, that's been really encouraging, Lucy. You know, to have as much possession as Swansea, uh, Sunderland as well, you look at the, the, the situation compared to the, the rest of the season where we've been averaging 30-35%. As a player I like that because I believe you have to have the ball to dominate the opposition. And especially over this winter period where there's lots of games, you don't want to be chasing the ball around for 90 minutes, you actually want the ball yourself. We just need to move it a little quicker, that will come in time. That will come with four or five games, once the players are comfortable, we've got good players in the middle of the park who are comfortable on the ball, Sanchez is very comfortable. Defenders are comfortable on the ball, so uh, I, I think the fruits of the hard work they're putting in on the training ground we'll see in the weeks to come. But it's a, it's a big 10 days for us. We've got two teams in the bottom half of the table with us. You know, I think anyone from 12 down, realistically, are still in a rele relegation battle because you know, there's a six-point gap above that and there's only four points from 12th uh, to, to the uh, third from bottom. And when you look at Leicester, who've picked up a win, Crystal Palace have a new manager, Burnley fighting for their lives, great result uh, at a... Uh, the Etihad against Manchester City, it's going to be, I think, a, another crucial period of two league, two league games and, a, and a, a tricky FA Cup tie in between. There are two players that will be very eager to impress a new manager, two that have caught your eye already so far this season that are doing well this season, two wingers. They're Punchin and Blassie, aren't they? Yeah, and again, as an ex-winger, it's lovely to see a side play with talented wingers because there's a lot of teams in the Premier League now that just don't play with wingers they play with a narrow midfield and they you know they, they use their fullbacks really as their attacking options down the wide area so the, the two boys that they've got are really key for them and, and if they're to get out of where they are they will be massive for the club in the second half of the season particularly this boy because he's a breath of fresh air he doesn't know what he's doing himself he, he's got bundles of tricks he, he's, he's and I love, I love what I love about him more than anything else. He's never afraid of taking on a full back. And if he loses it, get on with it, try another trick next time. And he's been a revelation for them. And for me, I think he's been, he's been their best player. I know Millie Jedinak, he's one of them players that I do love in the Palace side because he, he's brilliant at that defensive midfield role. But he, he's really exciting. Alongside Jason Punchin as well, who um, is having another very good season for Palace. And, and I think what's particularly impressive is, is two wide boys playing really well in a team that's really struggling. So with a, with a new manager coming in now, it'll be really interesting to see how, how Palace and what Alan decides to do with their system and, and who he plays himself. It'd be, it'd be fascinating to see how the two teams set up against each other. I mean, Palace, this is a game that they won't want to lose, but they really need to win because any team in the bottom 12, you have to win the games against the teams around you. It's crucial. When you look at the points, and where everybody is right now, you have to win them games. And I think, I think it could be a really... It's almost like a free pass because I think, I think Keith Millen will be manager for the day. He's got nothing to lose. He'll just set the team out to win. I think it could be a really entertaining and open and, and a very, very noisy Villa Park as well because I think the away following, as we know from, from Sellers Park, you know, they will make themselves heard. And that will make for a really super atmosphere at Villa Park, which is what everybody's looking forward to. Great. We're all very much looking forward to it here. Thank you very much, Steve. Check out our pre-match show on ABTV for much more in-depth analysis and also an interview with a man eager to earn his place in the starting eleven, Leandro Bacuna. We also discuss Villa's FA Cup match against Blackpool on Sunday. It's a busy week. Join us for more on ABTV.